Hello, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Zesha. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. Before we jump into the tutorial, if you wouldn't mind taking a few moments to hit the subscribe button down below, it would help my channel immensely. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to apply the new Magnetic Thin Lizzy Lashes. No word of a lie, you can have these bad boys snapped onto your eyelids in no time at all. They're literally the easiest false lashes to apply and they will change your lash game for life. Before we jump into the video, I would just like to make a full disclaimer that all the Thin Lizzy products that appear in this video have been gifted. However, I am not sponsored to create any content on their behalf. Let's jump right in so you can see how easy these lashes are to apply. These beautiful Thin Lizzy lashes come on a magnetic strip in a lash container. Simply just pull them off and then it is time to trim them to size. Measure the lash against your eye to get the perfect fit for you and be sure that you're cutting the correct side. You want the smaller lashes on the inner part of the eye and the longer lashes on the outer eye. As you can see, I've labeled mine with a lip pencil here just to keep track of which is which. Before starting the tutorial as well, I completed my full makeup look and my eyeshadow just by doing a bit of a smoky eye, but let's jump into showing you how to use the lashes. This is the easiest false eyelash application I have ever, ever done in my whole entire life. Glue lashes can be such a hassle. You've got to wait for the glue to dry, and then if you put it on when it's still too wet, then it doesn't stick, and oh my goodness, don't even get me started on other magnetic lashes I've tried. It has been crazy. But just by simply doing a winged liner and letting it dry for a few seconds before applying a second coat, you can easily attach these magnetic lashes. The secret is in the magnetic liner. I have no idea how they've created this or made it, but I tell you what, it seriously works. It's a nice little sized liner, as you can see, and the brush that it comes with is super fine, making the winged liner application super easy to achieve. All you have to do is wipe off any excess and then you can go in creating just a regular winged liner. So simply follow the line of your eye. If you are used to doing winged liner, this will be a super, super easy process for you. So starting off, I usually go in the middle to begin with, following the line of your eye. You really wanna focus on the outer corner is that is a position where a magnet is definitely going to be stuck down, as well as the inner corner. Just take your time while doing this step because as we all know, it can be a little bit tricky to get your wings on, but I tell you what, the outcome is going to be so, so worth it. If you need a little extra, of course, just dip back in, get a little bit more on the brush, wipe off any excess that there may be, and continue with the first coat of liner. All right, so that's the first coat on. The key with this magnetic liner is you must, must, must let the coats dry. Otherwise, the lashes just simply are not going to stick on. So to incorporate this into my everyday routine without adding too much extra time by having to apply two coats, I simply do my first coat, curl one side of my hair, Really let that dry and then I apply the second coat and then I can curl the second side of my hair. So it's just one of those things that I think you need to find your own groove with. Find a solution that's going to suit you for applying it and not letting it add too much extra time to your day. If you're already doing wings every day, honestly, this is going to add minimal time to your getting ready, which I absolutely love because we all know what it's like waiting for that lash glue to dry, holding it on your tweezers, waiting 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 and just when you think it's dry enough it's still not dry enough and then you get glue everywhere so this is just such an easy easy solution to all of that and it honestly makes wearing lashes every day so so easy but what i'm going to do is apply the second coat of the magnetic liner off camera just to save a bit of time and then i'll show you how to apply the lashes themselves so once you've applied the second layer of the magnetic liner of course, wait for it to dry. It's one of the most important steps. You can then fill in any sparse areas with a black pencil. I've just got the one here from Thin Lizzy. It's the Duo Eye Pencil Black and Brown. I'll be using the black side today, of course. And this is just to ensure that there's no visible line between your natural lash line and the falsies themselves. So simply just go into the top of your waterline and outline the area there, just to ensure there's no line between the two. 
Once that's all sorted, it is then time to apply the lashes. Now I have a cheeky little disclaimer to make in all the up close snips of the cutting of the lashes and getting them prepared to put on. I actually used the Showstopper lashes because they were a set that I hadn't yet cut. In this tutorial today, I am putting on the glamorous lashes. The reason I couldn't do the up close snips with these is because I'd already worn them and already cut them. So I couldn't do that again. But just to let you know, there are two different types if you just get a little bit confused. There is also a third that isn't shown in this video, which is the natural. I find that they are a little bit too short for me and my natural eyelashes look virtually the same. But if you're someone with really, really small eyes, they are a great option. Let me show you how quick and easy this is to snap on, seriously. This is my favorite part. So I'm left with four magnets on my lashes as you would have seen in the beginning of this clip. But essentially what I do is line up the inner magnet with the inner piece of my eye first so that's all in place and then I snap the other magnets along the lash line. So just going in as I said lining up the inner magnet first and then you can very easily click the other ones into place. From there I just pinch in a downwards motion just to ensure that the lash is secure. And because from there, that kind of flattens the lashes out, I also then just push them up just to get that volume back into position. And there we go. It's honestly as easy as that. That is on there. It is fully secure and looks absolutely fabulous. And that is as easy as it is to get these magnetic lashes on. No word of a lie. There's been no sneaky editing, no behind the scenes steps. This is exactly how I apply the magnetic lashes. And I just think they are ever so fabulous. I'll put a snippet of a before and after on screen now so you can see the difference that they make. I think we can all agree that having some falsies on just adds a little bit of extra glam to your day that you sometimes need and Thin Lizzy have made it ever so easy to accomplish this as an everyday look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Any comments or feedback would be much appreciated in the comments section down below. While you're here please hit the subscribe button. I'd absolutely love if you could stick around, check out my future content and maybe even pop over and check out some of my vlogs. I film weekly vlogs and would absolutely love if you could join my life journey and become a part of my YouTube family. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.